here with Mike Bigger. Welcome, Mike. Hey, how you doing? Just great, thank you. So tell me, what brought you to Cavendish Beach Music Festival? Uh, well, this is, uh, this is my third year here. And uh, the folks here have been really good. I mean, the last three or four years as I've been sort of trying to uh, make my kind of entry into the, the, the country music scene, you know. Uh, they've really done a wonderful job uh, of supporting me and kind of helping me to kind of move forward. We've, we've got a good relationship with them here. And it seems like every year we've, we've added kind of another layer of, of, you know, sort of like another milestone of accomplishments. So, you know, this year is the first year we'll be on the main stage here tomorrow afternoon. And so, uh, uh, I mean, in terms of why be here, I mean, I, I can't imagine anybody wanting to be part of kind of the, uh, the country music scene as an East Coast artist and not finding themselves here, you know? I mean, uh, it's a pretty enviable place to be. I mean, just un unbelievable. Here it is, it's, uh, you know, right now it's whatever, 3.30 in the afternoon, Tim Hicks, it's 34 degrees or something out here, and it's just a sea of people out there. I mean, everybody's just so, they're in a frenetic froth of anticipation and excitement. So it's just the place to be, I mean, I think. It's like the highlight for a lot of people like me. It's the highlight of really the whole year almost, you know, to be able to come and be part of something like this right in Atlanta, Canada, you know. It's great that uh, Meridian Entertainment and Kevin Meyer and his crew have been able to establish a, a stronghold here on the East Coast that we haven't had the chance for. So uh, thanks for your kudos to Kevin and Meridian Entertainment. Tell me, who at home would be the most proud of you to be here today? Uh, wow, who at home? Well, I guess I would probably uh, have to say my spouse, my wife, she's been awfully supportive over the years and uh, I mean obviously my mom I guess is pretty <laughs> pretty proud and stuff, you know, and uh, uh, yeah, I would have to say that's probably true, yeah. I Now I know you do your solo work and you also tour with a band. What would you say would be the uh, most important quality to have in a bandmate? What do you look for? Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's a world, this is an industry of optics. I mean, that's for sure. I mean, it's, you know, and so people got to try to have the look and everything. But, and then you say, well, you know, people have got to have top-notch skill. You want to try to get the best artist, uh, side man, journeyman, whatever the, you want to say, that you can. But, I mean, honestly, people have got to be genuine about, I think, like, honest in how they play, how they perform. Uh, I don't really want people to just kind of... Pose, you know, uh, I mean you want people to try to look good. You obviously want people that you know to be a certain talent level But beyond that you look for kind of syner synergy and people just to be real genuine, you know Who would you say is your most Has been the most influential in your musical career and in your desire to play music? Well, I really love in terms of what I'm currently inspired by uh, I'm a big Johnny Reed fan uh, I mean, I could rattle off a bunch of bands that I like, but I mean, what I really like about Johnny Reed is that number one, he's really being faithful and loyal and honest about who he is, the kind of music he is. He's made a real home for himself in the country music scene, but of course there's been lots of talk about, this guy has this almost Motown vibe and stuff about him, but it works, you know, and there's an honesty, country music I think is very much about kind of, you know, honest lyrics and honest music, and that's who he is, so I'm very inspired by that. I, I love R&B and soul and stuff, and I have a bit of a blues back background as well so I get a bit inspired by that I think well maybe I can find a home too if a guy like Johnny can you know so uh, I would say that's a real inspiration to me yeah, at this point I love watching his career progress and how he has this kind of all ages kind of capacity everybody kind of loves the guy and he's he seems to be someone who uh, is able to keep uh, his gentlemanly kind of uh, character as well, which I think is really great. So it's, I'm going to give you a word, and I'll give you two answers. So your chance of being correct is 100%. Okay. You can pick one of the two. Oh, I okay. See. I like that. All yeah. right. Okay. So where were you when I was in high school? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a multiple choice that you can always okay. win at. Okay. I just want to say high school was the best eight years of my life, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to ask you. Right. Okay. So if I say the word Mustang, what do you think of? Car or horse? Car. Arena, rodeo or concert? Concert, definitely. Foreigner, especially. Uh, branding, cattle or marketing? Marketing. <laughs> Sad but true. <laughs> Pick, do you think ice or guitar? Uh, guitar. Now you know me. <laughs> if I say Meganova, do you think star or website? 
At this point, I would say website because I've been <laughs> brought into the know about Mega Nova Country. We have a new member of our Mega Nova Country Music website right here in Mike Bigger. <laughs> you got it. No doubt about it. Mike, thank you so much for speaking with us today. It's been wonderful Great to, to meet you. you. We can't wait to hear you perform. Thanks so much. See you later. Eh? Thank you. <laughs>